Hi, welcome to this video. We're going to react now to Los Haivas. According to uh, the sponsor of this video, uh, who is Tomas Gonzalez Marin, he says that um, a few of the members in this band are still, that we're going to watch right now, a few of the guys in there are original members. We got bassist Mario Nutis and the piano man Claudio Para. Now, the drummer, of course, is Juanita Para, and I've done a video. Uh, featuring her, of course, playing with the band. She's the daughter of the original drummer, Gabrielle Para. And the guitarist is also, in this video, we're going to see a, uh, a relative of the vocalist, uh, I guess the original vocalist, Gato Alquinta, or maybe he's the current vocalist. Sorry, I don't know all the members. Thank you, Tom Thomas, for uh, sponsoring the video. So we're watching part of the Festival Internationale de la Cancion de Viña del Mar 2023. Whoa, 2023? That's like, that was this year. Amazing. Ooh, the stage is really nice. Look at that. What did he say? Attention? Santiago. Oh, there's some uh, TV... TV banner there. This is from television, obviously. There she is. really makes you want to dance. <laughs> dance in your chair.
Ooh, very nice. Oh, We're supposed no. to end there, but I feel like keeping on watching. Oh, I recognize this song. Yeah. I did a reaction to that song, I'm pretty sure. Very nice. Yeah. So, um, like, I, I had a Latin jazz duo, so I'm totally into and love um, Latin American rhythms and stuff like that. I think one of the great things about um, Latin music is the danceability. I mean, of course, like, uh, if you compare it to, like, electronic dance music or something, um, ah, there's just... There's just no comparing. I mean, if, if you really want to get in the mood to dance, man, um, Latin American, like, which surprised me actually when I watched this video. I'm so surprised they didn't have somebody there with a whole bank of percussion, you know, somebody doing uh, congas and stuff. That's really weird. I was sort of expecting that. But then again, you know, Los uh, High Bass are more of a, um, well, they're, they call themselves progressive rock. They don't. Uh, they don't pretend or something. They they do progressive rock music, so maybe that's why they don't have that. Let me know down below. Don't don't they usually have somebody with some congos and stuff like that, or is that not something that they do in Chile? Is Chile not uh, usually? Is that some uh, another region that does that? You know, I'm so dumb about all this. Sorry about that. Um, we're so ignorant uh, up here in Canada. At least I was. I mean, I didn't even know about this band until uh, did this channel and people suggested I react to them. And uh, they are very, even though they are progressive rock and they, they owe their heritage to all that and they, they're fans of that. And it's not the progressive rock brand that uh, a lot of us grew up with. We're used to Genesis, we're used to Rush, we're used to... I would love to see Los Hypos live, that'd be great. A big crowd there, see them. I know a lot of people love that band. I mean, they've been around for decades, so so great. Good on them. Thanks for sharing this with me, Tomas. And uh, that's this reaction for now. Make sure you stick around and see you in another video on the Prog Dog channel. Spiraling out for me and Prog Dog. Bye now.